Sonnevisser and I'm a material design researcher and I run my own studio called Studio Sonnevisser. I'm also a PhD candidate and research assistant at the Centre for Circular Design at Chelsea College University of the Arts London, where I'm also a lecturer for the BA in MA Textile Design courses. Um, I'm super excited to take part in this year's LFA's 30 Objects in 30 Days series um, in relation to this year's theme of act and architecture. Um, and I had considered many objects um, thinking about this, um, but my chosen object, which is an object that you're all very familiar with, is um, the door. When I think of act, and this is very much relevant to my practice as a researcher focusing on sustainable and regenerative materials, processes and systems, I thought of many things that would relate to this. In what way do I want to act and what is needed or even expected from me? It made me think of the tools that I use in my workshop or the books that I read or the conversations that I have. But in the end, what matters the most is the ability to step in and outside of these spaces, to leave one and to enter another. So what really is a door? Made of wood, metal, glass, shaped in a rectangle or a square, tightly fit within a frame or hanging on a few hinges. What is their function and why does it relate to act, in my opinion? So initially, this object gives us security. It protects us from other forces, whether they be human or non-human. I don't think I need to give any examples, but looking at the current climate crisis and social injustice that is happening, we could all imagine what this protection might mean. It's an object that gives us privacy, the feeling that you can close yourself off from the rest of the world or other people like your neighbor or flatmate. Doors can be aesthetic, giving new dimensions and views within a room or a building or even outdoor spaces. But what I think is interesting as doors, more philosophically speaking, they can close us off from the world, like the way we close our eyes. The option to choose to be ignorant or to hide things. On the other hand, doors can fluctuate, be they open or closed or halfway. To me, doors are opening and closing all the time in terms of knowledge and finding or missing opportunities. We even see this fluctuation in our digital lives too. The opening and closing of these doors can be difficult, especially in terms of privacy we have found. But it can also offer us more opportunities to be more included. The idea that you walk through someone's door into their space and to be heard which might have otherwise been very difficult or nearly impossible in the physical space. So how do we keep our doors open within our space? If that's what we want. How do we invite people in? How do we activate people to open their doors? To be in transparent, be open, be collaborative. And what if we don't have doors at all?